look. It doesn't look bad. Like it just looked like it was like pushed into the mangroves and that was it. Yeah. So this boat was pushed into the uh, mangroves from Hurricane Ian. to dig it out, right, Ken? What did they have to do? They had to dig a channel. They had to dig a channel. It was very shallow here. You can see some dirt on the side where it must have been stuck on yeah. the And they had the boat running with generator power and everything else running from it um, while it was beached over here. Stuck in the mangroves. It's finally out. Later. Yeah, seven months from Ian. It used to be and I'm looking at the equipment we have, and that's another big part. I tell you, yeah. Yeah, it looks fine. It just looks like it was just pushed into the mangroves from the marina. <coughs> I'm surprised the pilings didn't do any damage to it. Yeah. Yeah. So they have this all marked off. How deep are we now? Two and a half. Two and a half feet. Two feet. Two feet. So yeah. So they had to dig a channel to get this boat out of the mangroves. working on it. Got her out. Got her out of the water. Amen. It says a hundred. See hey a hundred. Hundred footer. They saved her. And then there is this huge crane. Probably did all the work. There's still one in the water? Oh, yeah. So, this is um, the West End Tarpon Point Marina in Cape Coral, where that boat probably was docked and went over there into the mangroves. are gone from uh, Hurricane Ian. They're floating docks. The boat sunk. The docks broke away.